Welcome to another video. Today we're gonna talk about this. <laughs> My problem with hair loss. And if you are a guy, if you're going through the same kind of situation like I am, then this video is for you, okay? So let's talk about my hair loss journey and where it stands as of today, okay? So when I was really young, I didn't really have a problem with this before. I didn't really think about it before actually. I have really thick hair and it grows really fast. So every time I go to the barber to get a haircut, they have a really hard time cutting my hair because the scissors just can't really chomp on these these thick locks. So when it comes to my hair, it's always thick, it's always luscious, and it grows really fast. That's what you need to know. And when I was a teenager, you know, I used gel wax, you know, nothing crazy, slick it back for sports and just, just clean cut. Then later on, I started to notice this. My hairline started to recede. And you probably noticed throughout my YouTube journey, my hairline started receding more and more because I wear a swim cap, I wear baseball caps, and uh, I do all kinds of crazy things to my hair. Like I colored my hair, I, I did a wave perm recently. But as you can see, this is the type of hairstyle that suits me. But I have this problem to deal with and it's been getting worse over time and is it bothering me well i would be lying to you if i said no it doesn't bother me because it's always there it's always prominent okay even if i try to cover it up conceal it to the best of my ability which is why i grow my hair like beetle style like mop top and i get a wave perm and i get the barber to style it in a way that it conceals this hairline there's always that chance where the wind will blow and it will reveal this or you know there's always this hole here as you can see that sticks out over here and it just gets on my nerves because it's something that's out of my control I can't do anything to fix these on my own you're probably wondering why Justin why did you just shave your head then you know just if you're dealing with this just just shave it all off like other guys do in other videos and I am here to tell you that I have. I have tried it. I've tried it five times in my life. I've gone and took a, yeah, like a razor and just shaved it all off. And let me tell you, that look works for certain types of people, certain types of guys. It works for guys that are good at growing a beard or a lot of facial hair, facial hair around here. So a perfect example is the God of War guy, right? He's the Kratos, he's got a shaved head, but he's got a full thick beard. And it, it balances, balances things out, right? All the hair is here, no hair here. When I shave my head, I still like shaving, right? I tried to grow a beard, it just doesn't suit me. It's just too itchy and I just don't like that feeling of a beard. It makes me feel tired. So I like going for the clean shaven look. I have been told by my mom that when I shave my head, I look like a Yakuza. Okay, with a beard or clean shaven, doesn't matter. I look like a Yakuza or like some, uh, I don't know, some gangster. And if you know me, if you've been watching my videos, you know my personality. It's really cute, bubbly, and fun. And it, having a shaven head, it's, it's hard for me to pull off because it doesn't suit my personality. So, if you are the God of War type, then yes, shaving your head works for you. But you can look at the photos. I've experimented over the years, all kinds of hairstyles, where I shaved my head completely off, or I did, went the opposite way. Wait, I grew all my hair out, all the way down to my shoulders, to the length. And I just found, I realized over time that in between is the best style for me, this style right here, okay? Not too long, not completely shaven off. It's just, just perfect for me, this, this style for me, I find. so. I did shave my head, didn't work. I grew my hair out, didn't suit me, and it still revealed these, these spots no matter what. What else did I try? Well, I tried Rogaine. You know, I bought like those Rogaine cans, like those, like those mousse style that you can buy at the, the pharmacy. I bought those. I tried a couple of those out and I started applying it. It didn't work. It was just money down the drain. And you know, those, those cans are very expensive. They're like 70 bucks, so. 
yeah, it was just, it didn't work at all. So, and I, you're wondering, like, why don't you try other like topicals or like medica medicine, like finasteride or something? And I realized after trying the Rogaine out, the, those things are all short-term solutions, you know? You're going to have to keep getting hooked on the, that stuff over time. You've got to keep buying and applying and doing it over and over again. So to me, that's a waste of time and money. And I want like, like a long-term solution that works and I don't have to worry about it ever again, you know? I don't have to worry about going to the pharmacy to get Rogaine or Finasteride or any kind of medicine that will help this situation out. So I started looking into more long-term solutions, more permanent solutions. And obviously that leads us to this video here, which is a hair transplant. I've been thinking about this for quite a long time and I've decided to get a hair transplant. Where I'm getting it is kind of interesting because when I first looked into getting a hair transplant, I was thinking of doing it in Canada, where I'm from. Until they gave me the price. <laughs> I was like, holy shit. I could buy a car with that, with that money, <laughs> okay. And then you're probably wondering, okay, Justin, why don't you look into Turkey or Istanbul, right? That's where everyone goes, because it's cheap. Well, I've never been to Turkey. I don't know what it's like in Turkey. I don't know who to trust in Turkey. And, you know, you get what you pay for. And I'm not really thrilled about, you know, booking a flight, flying over to Turkey, talking to some specialist over there that I've never met or seen or heard of and start, you know, getting them to do the process and handing over my money. I just didn't feel comfortable going, you know, investing that much time and money and energy to go to get it done in Turkey. But what really did happen was I was in Thailand at the time and I contacted several hair transplant clinics in Thailand and uh, we, were, we were talking back and forth through email and a lot of these clinics were just inaccessible like they were really far away there they there was no subway to get there and uh yeah i had to take a taxi it was in like an hour taxi ride and i just didn't feel comfortable the prices that they gave me in thailand were much cheaper than in canada obviously but uh yeah it just didn't work out in the end because you know logistics and like yeah i just didn't feel comfortable doing it with these these clinics that are far away and inaccessible. So what happened after that? Funny enough, I was watching YouTube and I saw this video by a guy named Hairliciously. I, I didn't know he was uh, Korean actually and you've probably seen his video about how he got his hair transplant done. And I was watching his video, I was curious because like okay, his, his uh, receding hairline is kind of like my situation, right? So I was watching and then he mentioned that he was in Korea. A funny thing is that I am Kore in Korea as well. So it's a coincidence. And he mentioned the clinic in his video. It was called Motion Clinic. So I contacted Motion Clinic and uh, I set up a consultation, which I'm going to attend really soon. And I'm gonna take you along with me on the journey so I'm going to show you from start to finish what's going to happen with my my new hairline and what they're going to do with me and all that what they're going to say I don't know what's in store for me but they did give me some quotations on prices and I, I sent them my pictures and they gave me estimates and yeah so far so good and I went from trying Rogaine, to shaving my head, to growing my hair, to concealing it with a weight perm, to this point where I'm, I've decided to get a hair transplant. Okay, just get it done, set it and forget it, right? Don't have to worry about it ever again. You know, just get it done. Let's, let's solve this problem. You know, I just don't want to deal with this problem anymore. You know, like concealing it to the best or, you know, trying other temporary short-term solutions. I, I've tried them all, right? So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go visit Motion Clinic in a few days in Gangnam. I'm gonna take you along with me. So if you have any questions about getting a hair transplant for guys, please leave them down below and I can ask these questions to them for you in the next video if you like. Thanks for watching, stay tuned. Remember to like, subscribe, 
and uh, all that good stuff. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>